Welcome back to the Ask Dr. Doshi series. This is episode number 6. I have been frequently asked the questions about what are the risks of deep brain stimulation surgery and how do we manage patients after deep brain stimulation surgery. Let me address both these questions in this particular episode. The risks of deep brain stimulation surgery are like any other surgical procedure. No surgical procedure in the world or for that amount of fact no medical treatment in the world is free of risk when you are taking medicines you are taking a risk of having side effects of the medicine fortunately the side effects are very minimal and hence we do not bother about it and we continue taking medicines same things you must have taken levodopa medications for your parkinson disease knowing that in future you will get side effects like hallucinations and dyskinesia and probably today you are watching this series of deep brain stimulation surgery because you have already started getting that however this was not bothersome at that time why because the risk benefit ratio was very small the benefit was large risk was small the same thing happens if you go to an experienced and trained center for deep brain stimulation surgery the risk of surgery at our center i can talk about our center because we have done elaborate studies on this we have published a paper in stereotactic and functional neurosurgery journal after 150 deep brain stimulation surgery this was way back in 2014 and that time also our risk of complications out of deep brain stimulation surgery were very small the major risk that we all are concerned are intracerebral or a brain hemorrhage and infection then there are some several other smaller risk like confusion and other next risk that one should be worried about is confusion in our series the risk of all these complications even when we published 150 patients was very small less than 3 to 4 percent we also published our series after 519 cases this was done during the covid period when we had some free time and we analyzed 519 deep brain stimulation surgical patients then we found that after 200 surgeries our risk substantially decreased just to give you one simple example which is important and which is nagging in everyone's mind is about the brain hemorrhage we did not have any brain hemorrhage in last 300 patients why because our experience improved we corrected our mistakes and we made sure that those mistakes do not occur apart from that there are minor issues which are related to programming they can be behavioral side effects speech side effect uh, walking and gait disturbances but all these things can be carefully improved upon if you have done an accurate surgery and you know how to program the deep brain stimulation surgery during the follow the second question that i have been asked was how do you manage these patients of deep brain stimulation surgery at jaslok hospital the frequency of visits of this same patients is very minimal maybe once in a year why because we know the best combinations that we you can use for programming a patient until the patient's disease actually changes for example a patient who has strong tremor dominant parkinson's disease start developing walking difficulty he doesn't need to visit our center for reprogramming there are some centers in the country who call the patients for programming every 3 months i feel that either they are not knowing their job or they are just not able to get the best combination of settings for their patients we must have program more than 300 patients who have been operated elsewhere around the country for not getting the benefit and we have been able to offer them benefit by just adjusting the stimulator setting the further way to manage these patients is by multidisciplinary team we have a multidisciplinary team of several people ranging from pain physician to urologist to gastroenterologist who help to get and achieve better quality of life for these patients so in a nutshell follow up of these patients is very efficiently managed at jaslok hospital because of the team work and team effort because of the understanding and knowledge of how to change the programming with the changing disease pattern and to use the best combination of medical surgical programming and other additional facilities to give the most optimal quality of life to the patients of parkinson's disease who have undergone deep brain stimulation surgery